So it all started like this. One fine day, I received a package in the form of a shoebox. Who knew what was inside? It could be underwear or gold. But alas, it was a pair of $15 shoes that I bought online. And they had Velcro straps. So I put on my big boy shoes and I went outside so that I can get some exercise. And there I was, young, naive, and trying to become the next fitness guru. All was well until I accidentally slipped and fell. As I tumbled onto the ground, I had a vision. Perhaps I was not made for vigorous activity. With a tear in my boots and a gash in my heart, I stowed away the boots together with dreams of becoming a professional athlete. Dreams that were rot away with time never to see the light of day. And then coronavirus came around. So now, after four years of waiting, I decided to finally do what I was destined to do. I'm going to make my shoes look pretty. The first step you want to do is you want to rinse your shoe full of dirt and dust. I already did that. Next, you want to ensure that your sole stays intact with your shoe. And to do that, I like to use a simple tool called... Super glue. Super glue. And I'm currently using this brand. I'm not sure if you can tell. Can you see it? Can you see? Yeah, so you just want to put enough so that it sticks. I don't know whether you should listen to me because I ended up using two tubes of super glue and nothing stuck to each other. So, after about three minutes and you realize that super glue doesn't solve any of your problems, move on to the next step. Sewing! Here, I'm showing you exactly how I did it. But take note, your fingers will burn and you'll feel like dying. And also, you prick yourself probably a hundred times. But you know what? Good luck! Cause beauty is pain. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. <laughs> I like it from my fingers. <gasps> it should so um most of it. But like it's at this part, but I'm done. <gasps> I favor baby yet. After your minor breakdown, complete the rest of your sewing and also sew some more on the sides of your shoes so that it looks pretty. And then we'll move on to the next step. Spray painting. Make sure you have enough spray paint and wear something that you wouldn't mind getting dirty in. I recommend splashing white blotches all over the sole until it's completely covered. And then regret it later. If you're indecisive like me, go on the internet and put your problems up for the whole world to see. And then, decide that their opinions don't matter and just do it your way. Here, I'm using nail polish remover to try to remove the mess I've made. Give up after 2 minutes and realize that painting would be much easier. So do that. If your shoes turn out like that, then you're ready for the last step. Spikes. Plan out where you want to put your spikes and then just remove it because you remember you're going to do it freehand. Using an awl, poke random holes anywhere you'd like and attach the screw on spikes. Repeat 50 times until your fingers run out of blood. By now, realize that all your energy has been drained out of your body and that you have no more emotions left. Congratulations, you are now a goth kid. Now, it's time to go out and scare some people. Head to the supermarket to get chicken to celebrate. By now, you'll probably be wondering, Dylan, what's the point of this video? But after 15 hours of torture, bleeding fingers and raw chicken, I realized I have no idea what I'm doing. So, should you be like me? Maybe. Should you not be like me? 
Absolutely. But one thing's for sure, I might have bleeding fingers, but at least I have pretty shoes.